Hey, what's up, Resistance? This is Joy here. This is a uh, part two of the uh, video on our uh, number one vacation project. And this is uh, what we got done. Uh, got the rock put up, the retaining wall. Uh, we freshened up the soil and put some uh, sweet potatoes in here. So we're going to hope that's going to work. And while we was at it, we noticed something going on. And uh, let's see, uh, trimmed a really big limb off of that one. And I cut another one off uh, right there. And it uh, done pretty good at opening up this uh, sky. So this used to stay completely shaded all the time. So now we're gonna get some sunlight over here and help these plants. Uh, sweet potatoes is one thing that you can go full sun or you can uh, have partial shade and stuff. Uh, from my understanding, they do good either way. Uh, we grew some last year, not last year, I'm sorry, year before last, and uh, they stayed in partial shade. And we actually had them planted in one of our swimming pool gardens uh, that I've showed in my previous videos. But uh, yeah, this is it. So we're done, a couple hours, wasn't much to it. And uh, that's it. About the biggest thing was really the cost. Uh, the plants run about uh i don't know i want to say about 10 bucks something like that the uh stones is uh i think there were 268 a piece so when we've got like 38 maybe 40 there uh, we found a sale on some uh topsoil we got two cubic yard bags uh, they run four dollars and something a piece. That's really not bad. And no, I don't care about the quality of the topsoil itself, because when you're like us, we got chickens and ducks. We have loads of manure that we can put into this soil and really help it out. So uh, we don't need a miracle grow here. So we we can make our own. Uh, but that's it for this project, y'all. Uh, we'll get some more going on today, and uh, hopefully I'll get some video out for them. Y'all have a good one.